has the royal beef between the princess and the duchess escalated? One body language expert reveals a shocking insight. A moment that took place between Catherine Middleton, Princess of Wales, and Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, is now being evaluated by an expert. This exchange occurred as the British royal family continues to mourn the death of Queen Elizabeth II, who passed away on Thursday, September 8, 2022. King Charles III commented on the grief being experienced by the royal family, as well as onlookers across the globe, at the time of the Queen's passing. The King said, We mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much-loved mother. I know her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms and the Commonwealth, and by countless people around the world. On Saturday, September 10th, 2022, William, Prince of Wales, took to Instagram to release a statement, writing in the caption, I have had the benefit of the Queen's wisdom and reassurance into my fifth decade. She was by my side at my happiest moments, and she was by my side during the saddest days of my life. That same day, Harry, Duke of Sussex, was captured on video while he visited mourners at Windsor Castle and opened up about his feelings of grief. According to The Sun, Harry said as he met with the visitors, It's a lonely place up there now without her. Every room she was in, we felt her presence throughout. This is a family um, in mourning now. Brothers William and Harry, along with their significant others, Kate and Meghan, have been seen together following the passing of the Queen. A body language professional is weighing in on a moment that was captured on video between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle. This clip was recorded as they stood by their partners outside of Windsor Castle. The video shows Kate pausing for a moment to hold eye contact with Meghan prior to grinning for the camera. The news outlet chatted with Katia Loisel, who is an expert on body language, to figure out what this may indicate. Loisel stated that the moment looked like it caused discomfort for Meghan, who appeared ill at ease. She shared that it seemed Kate was reluctant to interact with Meghan specifically, although William showed signs of wanting to make sure both Harry and Meghan were included. Seven News also wrote that Kate's lack of interaction with Meghan could be classified as Kate, quote, freezing Meghan out, Loisel said. On numerous occasions, Meghan looked over at Kate, however, the gaze wasn't reciprocated. Rather, Kate appeared to look through her, suggesting underlying tension between the pair. Another expert named Judy James talked to The Sun about Meghan's recent signals towards William and Kate, saying, Meghan's body language suggested levels of suppressed awkwardness. Aside from these evaluations, Kate and Meghan have displayed genuine emotion related to the Queen's passing. People reported on the actions of the pair as the Queen lay in state on September 14, 2022, at Westminster Hall. The news outlet wrote that Kate and Meghan were visibly emotional and seemed to be on the verge of tears as they stood by their significant others, Prince William and Prince Harry, while Queen Elizabeth II's coffin was covered by the royal standard flag. The two women donned items of pearl jewellery that Queen Elizabeth II had gifted to them. Although body language evaluations may have indicated tension between Kate and Meghan, it appears as though they've continued to stand as a united front during the royal family's grieving process. After this gathering, Kate, Meghan and their spouses, along with other members of the royal family, convened for a dinner at Buckingham Palace. In addition, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex documented a public appearance with Kate and William through their social media account. On the pair's Instagram, photos of the two couples walking together outside of Windsor Castle were posted on September the 11th, 2022, to share when Harry and Meghan joined William and Kate as they met mourners and viewed a floral tribute to the Queen.